Only in Eyewitness News, a high-stakes campaign 2016 debate in one of the most watched local races of the season. Next Tuesday, one of Rhode Island's most powerful politicians faces a GOP challenger for Cranston House District 15. And on this week's Newsmakers, House Speaker Nick Mattiello and Republican Stephen Frias clashed over a number of big issues, including the plan to pay for bridge repairs by tolling trucks. Mattiello says the tolls let average taxpayers avoid a hike in the gas tax, while Frias argues tolls could be avoided partly by cutting the General Assembly's own budget. So that's where, how you would pay for it, because you have to control spending. The solution to Rhode Island's problem is not that the government didn't get enough money, it's that it doesn't spend its money wisely. 60% of our money is going to come from trucks that wear out our bridges, drive straight through, and never stop in Rhode Island. It's a good plan for the taxpayers. I don't understand why it's being criticized. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi will have more from the exclusive Newsmakers debate coming up at 6. First at 6 tonight, a high-stakes debate in one of the most watched campaigns of the season, and you will see it only on Eyewitness News. In today's final installment of our Newsmakers debate series, House Speaker Nick Mattiello and Republican challenger Stephen Frias had a lively exchange as both men vie to win Cranston's House District 15 seat. Eyewitness News reporter Ted Nisi was one of the moderators, and he joins us now live with the exclusive details. Ted. Mike Shannon, fewer than 11,000 Cranston voters are eligible to pick the next state representative for House District 15, but if they decide to get rid of the House Speaker, their choice will impact everyone in Rhode Island. When are you going to stop making excuses? You've been in power for three years. Republican Stephen Fry is taking on Democratic House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello in their only pre-election debate. The residents of District 15 would not have a representative because he says he has to recuse himself because he'd have a conflict. This is a lot of smearing going on here, so just give me some time here. Frias accused Mattiello of attacking his wife over her job at the state utilities regulator, where Frias' law firm represents clients. Frias noted Mattiello took issue when his own son was once targeted. Now let me finish because you talk about my okay. family. I didn't, I've talk, never about, talked I didn't talk about I've your family. I've never talked about your family. And for you to be that upset because your son was brought up. I was. As, okay. And then you're bringing up, you're campaigning you right now, bringing up my wife. No. You should be embarrassed for what no, you're doing. Your wife is a fine person and she probably does a good job. I do recognize that that's fair. You never bring in people's family, but there is a conflict there. During the half hour newsmakers taping, the pair sparred over who's the best pick for conservative voters. Mattiello cited his NRA endorsement and support for tax cuts. Frias said he'll be better on ethics and good government. They also battled over Mattiello's recent commitment to kill the car tax. If I'm reelected, the car tax will be phased out within five years. If I am not, other government priorities will take, will take uh, priority and the car tax won't get phased out. It's that simple. He's standing in the way for three years of cutting the car tax. And now when he's up for reelection, he's worried and now he's going on. There's no public polling in this race, so we don't know who's got the lead. But this is one of the most Republican-friendly districts in Rhode Island. So Frias clearly has a shot. Now, Ted, you mentioned at the beginning that this affects everybody. If Mattiello loses, that means you need a new House Speaker. That's right. In a word, I think if, if Mattiello goes down on Tuesday night, you're going to see chaos in the House. Already, ambitious lawmakers are making calls, trying to lay the groundwork to run for Speaker, or at least Majority Leader, if that job opens up. I think you can expect a huge, messy scramble for power at the state. House and it'll start immediately after the returns come in. And of course, we know you'll be covering every twist <laughs> and turn. Ted Nisi, thank you so much. And you can watch this exclusive debate on Newsmakers this Sunday at 5.30 a.m. right here on WPRI 12 and at 10 a.m. on Fox Providence. You can also watch it online now at WPRI.com.